Well, any little old bump will screw them up and you can't use this thing. Anyway, you just kind of hunt around until you... Got the lock in there. Got the handle in there. Handle and the lock set. And that's just a matter of, you know, putting everything together. Putting this on first, screwing it all the way back. Putting your lock in next, putting your handle in. You're pretty well done. Okay, take all this out. This part's finished. And like I said, if they're going to do a thumb latch, and since they're going to do double double lock on those, that's what I did. But you can lay out for your little your little thumb latch right there. And that's just the same thing as, as any of the others that you do. It's just that this this does not go on the side that your lock goes on. It usually goes on the inside, so you can remember that. Okay, now we do and set up and do the uh, uh, the uh, what you call thing, whatever you call it, thing the door shuts again. Jam. Now we're going to do the jam. Okay, I was telling you earlier. This is the uh, this the small edge here that's on your template for the uh, the latch assembly is for a brass weather strip jam. Even though 90% of them are now kerf jams, I'm just showing you this in case you run into one that's got brass weather strip. Now. Being that 90% of all the jams are weather strip, I mean, is a uh, is a uh, kerf. That's what this three eighths of an inch makes up this distance because this needs to go right against the jam. This sits in there just like that. Put a put a screw here, and then what? Got of course we got one at the bottom. We got to do. You want to make sure this is flush. You want to make sure that this is flush with the jam and not kicked in or out or pull back away from there. Okay, now we get one at the bottom. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to come in. Of course, I hate these things because there's just so much to work, so much work, and I mean, there's just nothing left of the jam when you get through putting them in. But that's, that's what everybody wants. Anyway, we're going we're going to cut out for this, which means we're fixing to destroy this jam in here. And you get a one-inch bit. Then you just pretty much eyeball the center of where it goes. Okay, here's our latch. This is our door that's going to swing into our jam. So when we got this thing set, as this thing swings in, we want to know where this latch is going to hit. So once you get that figured out, put your two marks right there. Alright, get that out of the way. Run these marks back. Now, now we got our thing. Uh, now we got our strike plate. Now the little area 
you can see pretty much the little one is for the striker the larger area is for the lock so you want to put this on there right where the latch comes in as you put that there you notice you give it a little bit of space on the bottom and a little bit of space on your top mark you don't want to worry about centering this thing your template's going to do that all you need to do is to mark the top put your mark on there and then a mark on the bottom okay get rid of all your other marks even the ones you just drew for the last simply because all you want is this top mark and the bottom mark that's all we want now because we have to cut out for this thing that's what this next template's for it's for this mostly like this set it in place because I know it's going to be kind of hard to see there's your top mark whoops 3-8 spacer run this down there's the bottom mark I'm lined up exactly on the top mark now we put our screws in there okay bottom mark top mark here we go that one That's top one. Okay. Okay, with this spacer, we be centered. All we do now is we drill this area out. Far enough back so that this thing will go in there. Now this, you're just going to have to trial and error on your own to figure the best place to start as far as up and down side to side you can pretty well just gauge that you want to do the top and then you want to do the bottom or you can do the bottom first and then the top doesn't matter Back to Mr. Hammer and Mr. Chisel. Trying to get rid of the big stuff for right now. We got to run a router around this thing. Okay, with our router still set up exactly how we had it before. We're just going to reuse it. Same depth, same everything. 